Hello and welcome to our voice coil setup video. In this video, we will show you how to set up a voice coil motor using the Titan controller. Don't forget to check out our other tutorial videos for setting up other motor types. Let's connect the voice coil motor to the Titan. For more information on motor and encoder connections, please refer to the Titan hardware manual. Let's enter the motor database wizard. Select the voice coil motor. Here enter the motor manufacturer and name. Enter the rated voltage, rated current and max current appropriate for the motor. Next enter the magnet stroke distance, which for this motor is 24mm, and enter the encoder resolution. We can move the motor and see the encoder values change. In the auto detect routine, the motor will be moved to find the direction of the encoder. So, let's move the stage to the middle. Click next. Let's leave the settings as is and run the auto detect routine. First, the stage will be moved to find the direction of the motor. Next, the electrical parameters will be detected. But before doing that, the soft limits will be set to prevent the motor from hitting the ends. Let's move the motor to one end and set the position to zero. Move slightly out and set this as negative limit. Let's move to the other end and set this as a positive limit. Now the electrical parameter detection will be performed. This is done twice. Next, the mechanical parameter detection will be performed. This also will be done twice. When the detection routine is done, click close. Once the auto detection is finished, we can save the motor parameters to a motor database file. Now let's navigate to the test drive window to perform some motion. Please check out our test drive tutorial video if you would like to see various ways to test motion from the test drive screen. Thanks for watching and happy servoing!